Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at a correlation anal analysis of two variables and we're going to start off by looking at this Alco Heart data set which includes a random sample of 19 countries and includes the alcohol consumption the average alcohol consumption per person uh, in liters uh, and the number of people who died due to heart disease per 100,000 people. So you can see in this first country the average uh, alcohol from wine consumed per person is 2.5 liters and the number of deaths per 100,000 people is 211. Um, let's do a quick correlation analysis of this data. To do that we come up here to analyze, come down to multivariate methods, select multivariate and uh, we have our two continuous variables over here. We're not concerned with the relationship between the two, so we simply drag them both into the Y uh, section of this dialog box. We hit OK, and we're presented with the scatter plot matrix. This is simply a scatter plot of the two variables. In the upper right hand corner, this variable alcohol from wine per person is on the vertical axis with values ranging from 0 to 9, and the number of people dying due to heart disease per 100,000 is on the x axis. Uh, with values ranging from 50 to 300. So you can see this sort of negative trend implying that countries that had a high number of people dying due to heart disease tended to have lower alcohol consumption while down uh, at this end people, uh, countries that had uh, fewer deaths due to heart disease tended to have more uh, alcohol consumption per person. Um, so that implies this sort of negative trend, high values of one variable imply low values of the other, and these red li lines, uh, we didn't discuss how to calculate them, but they are confidence ellipsoids, indicating that other samples from this population are likely to lie bet within this region, and they help exemplify this downward negative trend. The plot in the lower left-hand corner is exactly the same plot with just the axes reversed. In this case, now alcohol is on the x-axis and heart disease deaths are on the y-axis, but it still exemplifies the negative trend. High values of one variable imply low values of the other. Now let's calculate our correlation statistics. To do that, we come up here to the Options button for multivariate and come down to Pairwise Correlations. This now is the Pearson correlation for the two variables, heart disease deaths per 100,000 and alcohol consumed uh, from wine per person, and the Pearson correlation statistic is minus 0 0.8428, so indicating a strong negative relationship between the two. High values of one imply low values of the other. Um, we had 19 countries, and the confidence region for the true correlation, true population correlation, uh, is minus 0.938 to minus 0.6296. So samples such as this would contain the true population correlation 95% of the time between 0.93 and 0.62 negative. So these, this confidence region also excludes zero, which means that for our hypothesis test of correlation equals zero, um, we do get a very significant probability. This is a sig this correlation of minus 0.84 is significantly different than zero, and you can see in this little bar graph the shaded region is telling you how strong this correlation is. It's far away from zero. But of course, to do a, a Pearson correlation, we have to have both of our variables, variables be normally distributed. So let's go and quickly check that. We'll come up here and check the histograms of the two variables. Again, we just want histograms of them both. We drop them both into Y say OK, and now we can see the histograms of the two variables. Neither look very normal, but we only have 19 subjects. So even though this one is symmetric and likely to be normal, this one does appear pretty skewed and not uh, consistent with a normal distribution at all. So to be safe, we should calculate the Spearman correlation as well. To do that, we come back to our multivariate screen, come up here to the multivariate options, come down to non-parametric correlations, and select Spearman's row. Again, let me just minimize this so you can see it a little better. And there we can see now this is the Pearson row that we had the first time, and now we've added the Spearman's row uh, uh, section down here. So we're still comparing the heart disease deaths and the alcohol consumption, and the Spearman's correlation, the Spearman's row, is minus 0.8289. It's actually quite consistent with the Pearson, and so the probability is also very consistent. Um, in this case, we see because the two numbers are very similar and the probabilities are similar, our conclusion is the same in either case, but because the uh, distribution was very skewed, we'll take the Spearman uh, row as the true correlation statistic. Uh, and it also is significantly different than zero. So that's a quick tour of calculating correlations and generating a scatter plot matrix in JMP. If you have any questions or uh, think I've missed anything, please add them to the comment box at the bottom of the video. Thanks.